There we go to the power play. They start the period on the PP. It's a beauty. Here's Backlund. He's going to get the puck through the seam to Coronado. Kid can shoot it. Can he? Zing. Took There's an orange right there. I he had That's a, the game winner. He wants to make a team, right? Like, I mean, he, when you, we talked about, I think it was this morning, if I'm not mistaken, about if you watch him away from pucks when he doesn't have it, how hard he works to try to get it back. That's why he's had success. So he's been like a, a dog on a bone and, and he is hunting things hard. And, um, you know, we've talked about his shot before too. That's a, he, he gets it away quickly and it's hard. I think he's, I'm assuming that goaltenders probably don't know he can shoot like he can yet. Uh, that'll change here shortly, but um, he's done a really good job for himself. I feel good. Like like I said, I, I think every day I'm just getting more and more comfortable. Um, and I think, uh, like, I feel good. I get, like I kind of said a couple of days ago, when, when you're with these guys and playing with, with this group, I think it's it's easy for me at least to kind of keep my energy up. It's, it's, it's exciting to be here, so I'm having a lot of fun. Sounds exciting. He's having fun, Rhett. Great eyebrows. Should. Best punk, in the league. Punk kid trying to make the NHL, make millions of dollars, score some goals. He's doing what almost no one does, like only superstars do. Like to go to the NHL straight from college and not play an American League game is rather mm. rare. Come on. Really? I think it's like 87% of NHLers play in the A, so that means he's one of the well, He might not very... play in the A. I played the NHL before I played in the A. So, yeah, you did. You played AHL games, is what I'm saying. Um, he may not. Now he he might need some seasoning mid season, but like for a lot of these young guys, it's like, ah, oh, where are they? I don't know. We'll write him through. Everyone's got Coronado penned into this lineup. It's That's impressive for a guy who has not played against professional men before outside of what the world champs. How was the squad last night? I'm not. I'm serious. I'm not nitpicking his play. It's great. Mm. Be good. Mm. Mm. Kind of feels like yeah, right? first period was no good. Husky said that. Yeah, they were the first period. Felt well, like I'm talking about the Jets. This line, like, it, was it a full lineup for the Jets too? Like, no, no, they were without. Lineup, maybe. Yeah, they were without. Because what did we say yesterday? They had. There's. A, you know what? There's a flu bug going through, and they actually Ehlers, had so. Ehlers, and I don't like Shifley didn't play. It was Kyle Connor, Gabe Velarde. They've got. Uh, they got a bit of the bug going through the Jets room. You know what? Here's. It, it comes back to it. If he does nothing, we're like, hey. Come on, may get noticed. And then you get noticed like, well, how is the strength of the uh, other side? And what, uh, it's only preseason. He's got, what, four goals and seven points or whatever it is. Three the the thing about last night, and again, I, I defer to the people who were, who were there, but a lot of people saying it's he had the hat trick going back to, the, to that other game against the Oilers or whatever it was. But last night, more involved, more noticeable, has the goal, two helpers. Good for you, kid. Much rather have him play and make the team than not. The yeah, 100% that. And uh -oh. it's we don't want to read anything to it, but God, it's nice that he is doing things, right? You'd hate to be like, well, shit, that, that guy needs at least half a year. Like, remember Pelche in camp last year? You're like, here it is. This is a great chance. Just wasn't there. And you're like, no, it's not happening. He needs to go. And then he's probably ready by Christmas. And Daryl wasn't ready to play him by probably Feb or March. But this is a better outcome. This is nice, especially with an injured Pelche. It's good for, and you know what? You've talked about it, and I defer to you on it, obviously. How playing, the higher the level for some players, the higher the skill level, sometimes the easier the game because the passes are more crisp. They come a little bit quicker. The game, it, it's it's obviously, it's a high caliber. And we'll see once he gets into the 82 game regular season, you're facing NHL rosters. But you wonder for a guy like that, if he's got that extra half a second to get the shot away, or if he doesn't have to cradle the puck a little bit more off of the pass, sometimes easier to play at a higher level of retro. Always easier to play at a higher level, I think. Especially if you can skate and shoot, you got instincts, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's, you can't say always because if you can't keep up and you can't yeah. do it, but like, I think that's the thing. It becomes very obvious when you can't. If you're a skilled player, I, I absolutely believe that it's a less scrambly, you're like, oh shoot! I wonder if, oh, he did see that. Yeah, okay, he's open, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Well, even the breakout pass. Yeah. He's gonna get it to you where you can do something with it instead of just jamming it up your fucking backside and expecting <laughs> you to do something. Yeah. Or you wobble something. And you're like, ah, oh, he's not catching. Oh, he caught that pass. Okay, yeah. nice. That helps.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.